Um, I do believe that sometimes what you see on the video tutorial, you think that's the only way. You think this is the right way. You think that someone else's idea is better than yours. I would love to show you today three projects, same products, but hoping for a different result. Hoping to show you how same sort of materials could be used in different ways. Um, will it work? I have no idea, to be very honest. I'm quite nervous about this video because I have some sort of vision in head, but I'm not sure if I can uh, transmit that to the uh, video today. It's super early morning, half ten in the morning, which is very early for me to record. You know, I always do that in the evening. But I'm very much inspired. I'm very much inspired by you and you have given me so much strength recently that I would love to make a video that would be uh, very much in a help for you and kind of give you confidence and believe that uh, you just can be yourself, you can just do things your own way, you should start and believe it's possible to, to do. So let's enjoy it together and let's make some art. As you can see I have few bits and pieces on my table. I'm not saying I will use them all, I'm not saying that this is only that we will use. Those are just guidelines for myself to just have some sort of idea of color, idea of texture and that's what we will do at first. First, we will need to create some sort of texture and I decided to use those three strips of watercolor paper as my base for my projects, for my, let's call it tags, because they are kind of big tags. And uh, what I will do is I'm going to use this super cheap tissue paper. This is a deli paper. This is, you know, something that you wrap up your... Uh, your products or your sandwich, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I hope it's a deli paper, the name. So basically what I did is I did this squash squash a lot a lot and we have a lovely texture. And I will use some bits and pieces only to start off and to have some nice interest to my project. I will work simultaneously for all of the, those three projects today and the idea came from you guys actually. Well not exact, not so direct, but I have a feeling and that's absolutely great. I have a feeling that sometimes you're watching things, you watch tutorials of mine or someone else or you just see products on... I'm using just a a regular print stick, nothing fancy whatsoever. And I always says I love print sticks. I kind of am a huge fan of them. Maybe because I'm not a very much dirty, well dirty is a bad word, I'm not a messy crafter as such. I am kind of, my hands are usually clean, I don't wear apron, I, I dislike aprons in general. I have my regular t-shirt, whatever, and same for my desk. I usually, it's usually quite tidy, so same for my 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 glue I like when my hands are quite clean and tidy so um, and print sticks is <laughs> easy for that matter because it it you know this is nice to hold so it's easy just I'm a lazy person let's call it let's be tr truthful here I'm lazy to go and wash my hands in the in the sink <laughs> so the idea of having them this just it's just easier anyway and so I figured that many of you is following someone's ideas to the point and that's fine, you're learning and that's great. But I have a feeling, I could be wrong, but I had a feeling recently when I was watching, looking through projects, I had a feeling that you are afraid to actually, uh, yes, you are uh, gaining um, inspiration from others, but I had a feeling that you are afraid to do it different way because you just feel that the way you see it's the right way so today I'm gonna um, I hope to kind of show you that we are gonna use on all three projects same old same products or ideas or whatever but I do hope we will at the end of the day end up with a different looking project will it work I, I don't know you know I it's like um. I could be wrong, maybe they will be very much too same, too similar, but even like now you can see you can put a deli paper in any sort of way you only wish. So it's up to yourself and 
yes it is up to yourself you know I'm always saying that it is up to yourself so this one will be more everywhere hope hopefully the whole tag will be covered with the deli paper now I love the texture here big time big time so as you can see we're starting off the same kind of the same because at the end of the day they already look different yet they're the same in a way okay I'm gonna uh, cut that away a little bit just a little bit I'm not worried that much to have everything so perfectly laid down and perfectly um, glued no it's okay if things are not fully 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 glued that's fine they will either be glued at some point with different materials that we use or they want and that's okay so we have those three um, and the next step is to kind of get them ready for work get them ready to dance and we need some sort of uh, pigment and in that way our heavy gesso or gesso in general would work if you have gesso at home it would be absolutely perfect to use I will use the gesso to prepare and prime my page and actually I changed my mind I will use spatula instead of using my brush so I'm going here and I am using spatula and brush will kind of go very deep everywhere which spatula because it's so hard and as you can see I'm kind of playing around and I'm creating extra texture I don't worry about it with the spatula you certainly will have spaces left with no gesso and you may end up that uh, the color will not be flowing in that spot when the primer is not there because gesso is our primer but I actually don't mind that I mean if somewhere the spots are left that's okay because I want to experiment I don't want to make a perfect looking project I want to make a project that is giving me this feed for my soul recently uh, there was a gorgeous beautiful comment and beautiful little discussion under my video was it last recent video let me think quickly I can't remember definitely the last two videos in one or the other I can't remember someone was asking me about why do you create that no that the person was asked why they do they create because you're spending money you're wasting your time there's no no turn back no, and nothing you don't you get nothing in return by doing this sort of things um whether you're doing you know especially that them kind of are journaling -ish kind of thing and mixed media they they are what they are and the person was concerned and wanted to uh, hear my side my story of that um, my my idea how I feel about it what I think so I said that I create and everything always started from a need for creating a need for I just was passionate about it all the time so um, for me it was never the way I never looked uh, when I started it I never ever looked at the way of to have things back when I was making more and more projects and I was spending more and more money sometimes I was thinking maybe making cards for sale would be awesome idea so that way I can support my spendings and that you know things are things were moving forward in different directions whatever but the main idea was always to feed your soul my soul to enjoy to love it and so that was my comment that people are doing different passions for different reasons you have swimmers you have people who run they play tennis they cost as well you have to pay for t tennis racket for example or you have to pay for lessons maybe i don't know every passion every hobby we have usually it costs money usually i'm not saying always so um i i would say treat this if if, if you enjoy doing it treat this as your hobby and don't listen to others who says what's the point of doing that well the point is to be happy the point is to be a better person because we if, if you if we are happy and we're making good things for ourselves I promise you you are gonna be a better person for others if you are uh, very much unhappy person if you have no desire to do things it's it's no good it's great 
if you can find a passion, whatever that is, it could be fishing, it doesn't matter. But having the passion in general, being uh, um, passionate about something, it's awesome. And if the cra if craft, art, journaling, card making, splashing, drawing, cartooning, sketching, painting, it doesn't matter, bow making, you know, whatever that is. If this makes you happy, go for it. Awesome. Not everyone has to remember, understand what you're doing simply because they're not creative usually. They can't understand why this makes you happy, why being involved in the craft community makes you happy. So, enough of chats in this second and I'm gonna dry that right now. As you can see, we have all three different looking gorgeous tags. I'm gonna dry them. So our pages, our little tags are nearly uh, dry, but I have something else to add. And yet again, I'm going to try to add it differently. And now, uh, um, this is just a plain, what is it, uh, plain, <laughs> plain cord? No, not cord, um, string, no. It is, I know you know, I know you know, and I will know in a second. This is not the string, not the wire, um, thread. Yes, it is a thread. Uh, I love using white in general because for me it is so much easier to color white, to color the, the basic. Uh, even if I buy things, oftentimes I buy basics. So now, as you can see, this is randomly added here, kind of, I don't know, somewhere. Somewhere, and this will be random but not random as I often tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go around with my thread just to add it but oops differently than the other two just to show you that again same product as in thread could be used in a completely completely different way will it that will this give us some amazing look we shall see because it's a big surprise for me and when I said to you at the beginning of the video I really mean it that I'm in a fear of this video because I have this sort of vision that I would love to give you a little push and prove that don't be afraid to be creative and listen to your heart rather than listen to someone else's heart <laughs> and I hope I'm not mistaken I hope this will actually be truth what I'm thinking that I think it will be okay so I'm adding this and this here I'm gonna just gently because this is moving for me too much so I'm gonna gently add a little bit of gesso on top and on top here and that's it for now and so I have this random and also I will add a little bit same kind of way as I did with the other one which is just a little bit here and that's it not too much because it's only a a little touch and here we lost this one and here I'm gonna just add the random one and that's it random and nothing else not not going around oops my thread is on the floor right now okay I think we are heading into some sort of interesting nice direction I love that so I'm gonna now add a little bit of my just so yet again to create this outstanding texture outstanding texture I hope same for here a little bit more and more and more and everywhere and nowhere <laughs> kind of idea yeah um I wonder, like, uh, um, that was so funny comment yesterday, someone said, like, I do know that you're watching my videos when you are going to bed or where you cre when you create your own things, but there was a comment where the lady said that she's watching my videos, do oh, on the treadmill. <laughs> She is on the treadmill listening to me and looking at me and I loved it. If that makes you walk faster, if that makes you to go on the treadmill because you need so much time to listen to me because the videos are long and you decide to do two things and accommodate my video and your exercise, that's like a awesome. That's, that's, if I could do it now and like walk you know, do things like this now when I record, that would be awesome because it takes me hours to record and it would be great if I could do things while I record. But anyway, treadmill, I was like, are you for real? <laughs> I love it, you know, I love your comments, guys. I do not reply to them all because there's like 
hundreds a day. So for me physically it's impossible. Then we have a cafe when there's hundred posts a day. Then we have Instagram, we have other places that you interact with me and you private message me of course as well and you email me. So please excuse me if you not hear reply always. I do reply as much as I can. Uh, I, I do, I do, but not always, not possible. I'm so sorry, but I do read them all. I do read them all and I remember them. So yes. Anyway, we have that. I'm gonna dry this uh, again. Mm, our little textury uh, pieces are dry now. And as you can see, I'm gonna bring you closer, they are the same yet very different. And you can easily see that you, you, the way you decide to go with your products, it's up to yourself. <laughs> I am keep on saying it's up to yourself, but I, I, I truly believe it is up to yourself. It's your project, it's your make, so whatever you decide to go for. And it's great to do things differently, what's expected or what you would normally do and even if things are not gonna be perfect because they usually are not that's okay you don't have to show things to others and if you don't feel like comfortable with it you can just create and experiment for yourself some of the makes could be just for yourself mm -hmm. just to see how different things could turn can be and the experiments are always bringing some awesome results I choose three colors will they work together uh, I hope they will well I think they must. So the idea now is to color it kind of same three colors, but hopefully to have a different sort of look. How we're gonna do it, I don't know yet. But you know, we will just go with the flow. And I need some water now. I'm gonna put my bits and pieces away. Same for here. I will actually turn this around like that I think because I feel that the texture is going here kind of on that side and I love, love that so I'm spraying my water a little bit and what I will do now is I am gonna just add I'm gonna put that here I'm just gonna add my green in places and I will hope that the movement will happen while I as you can see it's already happening and the movement is happening there while I am adding my my pigment, my spray. I'm using clean these stamp gang sprays um, but feel free to use any spray you have. Feel free to dilute uh, your acrylic paint with water to achieve a more diluted liquidish effect. You don't necessarily have to use what I'm using and that's what I'm trying to prove in this video exact. <laughs> you can use what you have. Try to use what you have. Try to um, substitute what I'm using. Try to be courageous. Is it courageous the word even? Contagious? No. <laughs> <laughs> contagious no well it is contagious to create art because when you see others doing things you are contaminated no I don't know <laughs> you know what I mean so anyway this is what we have the green lovely it looks very much what is it is it like uh, I'm in the bush of green things from the tree coming down uh, like in the forest kind of or am I just uh, having too big imagination. <laughs> so I'm adding a second color just for fun and just for a different kind of uh, look and that's it. I have no plan. Please, you must believe me, there's no plan. I go with the flow because I want to be truthful to you to prove you kind of and show you that um, I, I suppose it's not even being truthful. It's the fact of surprise that I would get while talking to you and trying to show you things. So that's kind of the beauty of it. A surprise that I may end up and that I can show you things differently that you will so much enjoy. And uh, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, so I don't make those projects beforehand. I don't even think that the idea is correct but we always can find out but we have to create to find out that now the next step is to well it's not the next step but I'm thinking to add a touches of purple 
whether it's a good or bad idea because you know they, they those colors may not be loving each other I'm gonna ch chance it and hope that they will love each other very much and that's it well for the moment this is what we have and I think I'm gonna leave it as that okay next one will be to maybe um, I don't know yet but I think I'm gonna just add a little bit of water and I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna put that away I don't want this to be colored and I have I love to have this kind of wash is that a good word wash yeah a washy wash <laughs> okay that's it I'm not moving it anymore at all because I love a door literally what I see and look how different it is to that in my eyes completely different I love them both I'm gonna put that away for drying while I'm gonna grab the third one um, and what's the idea for the third one guys what would you think what would be nice what would be nice I think it could be nice that what I will do is I will open up my my folder here with my old calendar so I can just spray directly on that because then I think we're gonna end up with the color everywhere so I am basically adding colors randomly spraying directly same for this color now okay I am sorry my phone was ringing so this is nearly dry because I was talking that long but you know something I think I love what I see that kind of way I think I would I would just leave it as it is I'm gonna probably add a little bit more green to this one actually uh, so that way we are using three colors yet we are having more color of a green in this uh, particular piece as you can see the gesso thing is making your color a little bit more dil diluted kind of whitish it just changes it's different if you spray directly on non prepared uh, not gesso page so it's like this if you spray it or add it to the gesso page you can move the pigment on the gesso page it will run smoothly it's not gonna go and sink in through the through the cardstock um, so but that way you will end up with your color being more faded if you will spray directly on something that is not prepared you are having a better better pigment but it will soak it, soak in through the page and you're not going to be able to move anything there's no movement as such because it is not just sewed and prepared so there is as you can see pluses and minuses of everything so it's really up to yourself whatever you <laughs> up to yourself whatever you love having and what sort of effect you wish to achieve and what sort of look you prefer yeah that that's it that's it that's exactly what I'm thinking I totally adore this accidentally I left it go I walk away because I had to pick up the phone and have a chat with Lucas of course he was asking me what's for lunch no, 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 no. you know my Lucas it's just um, he's not a typical guy because guys they don't worry about the lunch they don't ask what's for lunch they don't many of guys don't do shopping food shopping because that's what women do they shop and they cook and this and in our family it's strange because I always love that he has this a percentage of a woman in himself because he loves food shopping I don't do food shopping at all and since he does the food shopping all the time like nearly daily he loves that I am kind of not deciding as such for the lunch thing because 
he's more aware of what's in the fridge and cupboards r more than me m many times. And since I'm so addicted and, and involved with my crafts, in general making lunch it's not something that it's on my mind every five minutes. No, I really don't mind what we're gonna eat. I, as long as we eat and not starve, the child especially, and as long as it's healthy, I really don't mind what's that. <laughs> He's completely opposite to that. He is an opposite to my feelings, but probably that's why it's all awesome. Okay, awesome people. Can you see we have this green bushy look? This one, I don't know what that is. It's a sky for me, maybe a little bit, and I love it. And this one here, it's very faded because of the gesso as well. And the darker one is probably where the gesso was not. But you know something, if you really look at it and you look at the how actually um, special because of that this is because we have achieved different sort of looks and we have the texture picking through and we have the color picking through it's very interesting and people love to making interesting effects and then purposely do it and look we haven't done much of it purposely here and we achieved some really cool looking uh, colors and looks in general so what I'm gonna do I maybe add a little 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 tiny 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 bit of dark of a one more go with the spray just a little bit and that's it because I wish to have this slightly more darker I'm gonna dry that all three the our it's three called uh, is it like triptych so the triptych I'm gonna clean the, um, dry that and come back to you guys everything is dry right now and as you can see how completely different those looks are. Another thing I wish to add would be this string. I would probably I would probably add this very similar way to what I have done with the thread, which is just going around and around just to kind of <clears throat> Build an interest. Oh, watch my coffee. Build an interest and <clears throat> some sort of nice look overall. Okay. I need scissors. Scissors one, please. <laughs> okay, so this is um, the string added to my page that kind of way. This is moving too much, and but I can spread that across, and so that will be more... Okay, no. Okay, like this, and then maybe like this. And if this is moving <clears throat> too much, help yourself with using a stapler. <laughs> stapler is okay as well. It's an extra added value to your project, it's an extra interest. So, this is what we have at the moment. Another string that could be done nicely could be just a circle-ish kind of thing. Where we just make a loop kind of, I don't know, like some sort of um, nest. <laughs> A nest, yeah, why not? I don't know what that is, but it's okay to just try and see where this will take us in this case because it could be quite nice if we just add a flower there. I don't know, I don't know yet, I don't know, I don't know. What about this one? Um, well, I guess I'm tempted to do very similar thing to, to this because it just that's how it appeals to my eyes, kind of. But we may just have some sort of randomness, maybe. I'll show you what I mean by that. It's like... I'm not trying to overthink that, you know? I'm just trying to kind of... I don't know. Just be brave. Probably that's uh, that is the bottom line. Be brave in in what you are doing, and that's exactly what I'm doing now. 
I have no idea whether we are gonna have something that will just be a waste of our time, material or whatever, but it will definitely give us a, some sort of a lesson for the uh, for that piece. Yeah, I like that. I like that very much indeed. So again, it's different. Uh, I love them too. I come totally and I'm not too happy with this look but that's okay we can just easily try to change it I haven't have not really an idea of how we could do it but let's just try and see if this will make any good or or bad <clears throat> mm. you know what I'm gonna actually quickly stick that as it is those gorgeous 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 flowers I would love to say I made them unfortunately I haven't those are from Anna from my lovely lovely friend uh, um, we have become friends some time ago and I'm very uh, proud to call her my friend she made a set, few sets actually, of gorgeous handmade flowers for me. She posted them to me and she said, I would love you to use them in your project, in your video maybe. Uh, she doesn't sell them, uh, but I told her, I've asked her, you could sell those because there is so many people who would appreciate your beautiful design. Well, she is very much uh, making them so precise and gorgeous that her own flowers are just so outstanding and I told her that I would, I'm sure that many would appreciate her work and many would love that I'm looking for extra glue two seconds I have it um, many would, would appreciate and yeah I would hope that she will uh, take that in, in a compliment because I think those are stunning big time stunning and if I ever hear that she's actually selling them I will let you know for sure because I think those are absolutely gorgeous and there's so much work in them I see and uh, that it's just um, it's just fabulous to see how much of a heart she put in them so yeah there, there's uh, the other ones gorgeous isn't it so that's um, what we have at the moment. <clears throat> I love now. It's like a kind of nest or I don't know what. But I like what I see. I'm going to just put that in somewhere there. Oh, like that. I love this. I love that. Big time. I have one more. But I'm not too convinced that I have to use it. Well. Well. What if I will rip that and change my mind? Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, okay. You see, it's okay to even change your mind, rip apart and not to be worried about it. It will come in beautifully at the end. Everything will be beautiful at the end as now. So. I absolutely love them and I'm in love with those flowers <laughs> absolutely stunning isn't it gorgeous 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 so much work and she the detail there she was coloring them herself and cutting and adding those little 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 what you call them like a little uh, little uh, what's the word uh, microbeads yes microbeads anyway Let's move on to the next one. Another flowers I have from her, different colors, which I I think would be nice to use. Not too sure which where. I'm trying to show you that we are using similar flowers to I think I think this will make more sense. Now it's perfect. But I think I will just stick with those two like that maybe and that's it and then 
maybe something like that what 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 do you think how do you feel about it guys how is that for you I love it I'm gonna just add it now and that's it let's not overthink anything it's gorgeous as it is I love it and yeah that's what I will do you know when you have a feel for something you just feel it and you just know that it's a good way of doing things and that's how I feel about them but of course those gorgeous flowers are helping very much I'm sure you have plenty flowers at home that you can use or you could try to make some for yourself I'm very lazy in that matter um, plus I couldn't resist not to use those beauties so we have three gorgeous textury tags now what next I was thinking to add some chipboards actually I don't have my cutting knife unfortunately I cannot find it so I'm just gonna hope that I'm not gonna destroy those are chipboards from Scrapinits links link will be below basically Scrapinits Polish uh, Polish company I'm sure many of you heard about it and uh, they produce those gorgeous chipboards <laughs> look at those gorgeous cute uh, bird houses okay oops I just ripped it that's okay look even if you ripped it it's ripped but you know how you can rescue that Oops. basically you could rescue this by adding it under let's say under here so that and I'm gonna do it actually so that way you actually don't see that it's destroyed this part I believe many times this happens that Things, things are tucked in because it is the w good way of a good way of still using a product even if it's broken or something went wrong with it <laughs> that's smart isn't it well I love that I, I actually do love it that way so it's gonna be very delicate now but that's okay I'm gonna gently add that on top of my flower somewhere like this awesome now another chipboard that would be nice could be nice to be used I have some birdies here and I'm thinking well birdies and I have a house as well maybe would that be any good and a nice actually I like that I do yeah let's go for it we're not creating a masterpiece that will hang in the art gallery not yet anyway <laughs> so as long as you're happy with general idea it's awesome don't overthink don't try to make something blah like forever no I, I would love to hang those I love them and the idea of having triptych that's a good word it's actually very nice or oh, maybe like this I don't know no probably still like that and what else we could add to this one that would be nice another house we have in the birds so maybe this idea could be nice so that all three would be kind of somehow together because that's since we are trying to do them similar and since we are treating them nearly as a triptych we not but we can I think would be nice and the birds why not will we see hmm I'm not too sure I'm not too sure now actually <clears throat> I love that no no worries there this mm -hmm. I'm not convinced but I don't need a lot to be convinced so maybe 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 you have to put things on top and see and check and feel it that's what I always think feel for it if you feel for it good if you don't move on change your idea change your way of thinking now we have a loved a couple that is loving each other I think the birdie and I'll I'm gonna actually add that because I love it or wait 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 what about if we just stick with the um, I'm gonna see this one because that's interesting too isn't it a little seesaw birdie thing that could be nice you never know maybe this will be nicer than than this one maybe not <clears throat> hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So something like this. And we have the birdie there. And there should be one more bird like this. And what I dislike about it is that this chipboard is visual. You can you can see it easily because it's on the dark surface. Same for here. We can't see this one, so we must change the Oh yeah, that's straight away better. Can you see? I hope you can. Uh what about I'm going to actually change something now. What about if we swap this with this? Ha <laughs> ha ha How nice is that? And I love it. And then we have this. And then we have this. I'm not sure where this should be, but somewhere here. The only thing I don't like is that ending that but I'm gonna just nicely you see, even turning your project around. You we do forget thinking for that. This is a thinking outside of the box, I'm guessing. I would call it like that anyway. That you just do it differently. You just and it's okay that them stems are up or down. It doesn't matter. Because who said how the flower is growing? Flowers are growing whatever however they want. So you can decide. And And I really love that idea of actually changing our birdie cage on the darker background over the brighter one because we can see it better. Simply as that. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, that's it. Our birdie is here loved by the other one so it's a couple like this so you can see that we have houses going into house and a tree and tree going into a bird so it's like a flow like this I love it oh my gosh I'm gonna have a sip of coffee now I'm really actually amazed I'm really pleased with it because it is actually proving what I wanted. What I, I haven't visualized them to be so pretty. I haven't, but I do. I did. I hope I did get the idea of my my orig original thought. Let's start the same. Let's use the same. Yet having completely different projects at the end of the day. Lastly, maybe what would be nice to be done, we could use dry gesso technique, which is you need a brush. Uh, let me just find my brush. Oh, I have it. You use a brush and just a bit of tiny bit of a gesso to just highlight your texture and you will do that by using not too much gesso and just go over with your brush here on top of your project. Not everywhere but in places maybe and you wish to kind of highlight some spots and maybe a bit more many people is finishing their project with a bit of a gesso and I think it's adding a little interest as well to the page and the texture is not that much big and raised so for same reason it's not that easy to highlight the texture it's easier if our project is more dimensional this one is not that much it's just a little bit so it's not that easy to highlight anything but certainly possible as you can see a little bit of highlight to your thread and it's nice now and even a touch on our on our uh, string you know to so, so kind of not make the string being from different world it's all here together and we love it very much now what else could we done maybe some title do we bo will we bother with the title maybe we won't I don't know I, I don't know I'm gonna I think leave it at that because less is more. I don't want to go over too much and destroy it in any way because I love that what I see. I think it would be nice to add a little bit of title and I have uh, some titles now uh, and those are sayings that I usually say in the videos for you. 
so the first one is it's up to yourself <laughs> it's up to yourself because it is up to yourself I think I need that to be even higher it is up to yourself how you gonna make a project then I have another one which is um why not why not and those are my titles because why not why can't they be they can <laughs> I'm not too sure where to add it let me think for it why not no 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 Mm. Okay, I leave that and then I have love 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 it because I do and we have the birds that are in love <laughs> So this could be just nice addition to that maybe I think it could be or just here <clears throat> Or here oh I love that maybe here Mm, or here. What do you think, guys? Are you nodding now or not? Or are you saying, no, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong? I I think I like that here. Yes, indeed. So I'm going to add this in here. Okay. And let's think for this one. Maybe I'm going to make it even shorter. And add this. Why not here? Yeah. <laughs> or here? No. Something is bothering me here, but I'm not too sure why. What it is? Mm -mm -mm. Probably here will be the best. Yeah. Why not? Why not? It doesn't matter at the end of the day. It's not that important because what appeals to me may not appeal to you and vice versa so why not just do it my way and loving it as it is I'm just trying to make sure that it will stick and be visible there you go wow we have it believe or not we have it three textury tags um, Oh, I forgot to tell you. In the meantime, I have added extra, beforehand, extra layer of paper uh, because it was just not thick enough for me and uh, I just added with a print stick. Nothing, you know, just to thicken my page. So you can just get a thicker paper, like packaging works fabulous uh, for that. Uh, today I'm saying goodbye with my furry friend which is Henio as you can see our guinea pig I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial I hope you could see that having one texture idea you could end up with three completely different looking uh, projects believe in yourself your ideas your soul things that inspires you are unique because they are yours so you don't have to follow the exact steps of someone else uh, you must believe in yourself. I promise you it will pay off. You will feel much better with experimenting and trying to do things your way because your way is the best. Oh, come on. Will we show Emily's actually? Look, look at this little guy. He is actually like in the circus. Emily is training him. Believe or not, she's watching YouTube videos how to train a guinea pig and she's doing an awesome job with this guy because, um, yeah, he is standing on his two feet. I hope you had a good time with me. I would love to see your makes for sure. If you found it inspirational, fun and creative and you think it's helpful for others, please do share that video with the with the other crafters and leave me a comment below. Of course I would love to hear what you think. Of course I love reading your comments. It gives me a boost to be back here sooner than always uh, think of. Because uh, yes, recently I'm back and back to you more and more often because uh, it's like a mission now, <laughs> kind of us a group of crafters that is just going through that journey of beginnings and experimenting and trying out and believe in yourself so yes that's it for today uh, I don't have any more cucumbers I don't I'm gonna show you him a little bit closer his little his little face can you see <laughs> 
he is just so funny he looks very much like Susie the one that is gone and he is completely different to her she was very calm and very very much um, what's the word um, she wasn't interested in, in many things he is very much interested he is moving a lot and he I'll leave my string alone no <laughs> he is just very much uh, independent little fella oh what's up what's up baby uh, because Emily is very much uh, taking him and do things every day uh, yeah, training him and uh, exercise him oh it's such a laugh and fun to see how the two of them are get on with each other there's my coffee you don't like coffee don't do you he is very silly pet as well because if you give him things he will believe and think that this is something to eat and oh <laughs> he will try to eat things actually they can eat carbo oh is he his little <laughs> they're very safe animals for kids if you're thinking of getting a kid and um, not, not getting a kid getting an animal he is a those animals are really fun to have so I will definitely finish at that fun uh, note with my little friend helper here uh, thank you so much for your time and I'll talk to you soon bye